Right, for this review, we're gonna have a look at some of the bed chairs in the rather famous Nash Indulgence range. I've got three different types in front of me. I've got the Compact, I've got the SS3 Wired Boy, and I've got the SS4 Wired Boy. They're all slightly different, whether that's in size or features, and like I just said a minute ago, the plan is to look through them all individually so you guys can get a real good idea of exactly what you're gonna get from not just the range, but each bed in particular. And we're gonna start with the compact version. Okay, the compact four season bed chair. Now, all three of these bed chairs have certain features that are featured on all of the beds. So what I'm gonna to do to start with, I'm gonna look at the compact and I'm gonna talk about the things about this particular bed chair that give it its name and separate it and make it different to the other two. The obvious thing is the name. It's called the Compact, it's called the Compact for a reason. This bed chair, or this sleep system should I call it, because it is supplied as a sleep system, which means that the bed chair has a sleeping bag fitted to it. It's a four season bag. This weighs 9.5 kilos and is the lightest sleep system on the market. You will not get a lighter sleep system than this. It is 192 centimetres long, it is 78 centimetres wide and it stands 25 centimetres off of the floor. The legs are adjustable of course and they have the spring lock mechanism so you, you press the button, the leg pops out making it much easier to extend your legs and get your bed chair level. It does have a padded mattress, like I said before, it does have a four season bag. So you'll get away with using this throughout most of the year. You can get a shroud which you can add to the top of it, gives you an extra layer for the winter. So you can convert this bed chair into something that is of five season use while still keeping the small size and the lightweight that lots of anglers these days want. If you're a mobile angler, you like to keep your weight down and you're not too big, this bed chair will suit you fine. Like I said, it's 192 centimetres long. So if you're six foot five, you're gonna need to at least curl up a bit on your bed. You're not gonna be able to lay out like a pencil, but if you want a small bed chair, you want a light bed chair, that's the sacrifice you have to make. And Dave Robinson, Mr. Cameraman that you all know, he uses this bed and he is six foot five, but he's willing to curl up a little bit and make the sacrifice, a tiny sacrifice on comfort for the addition of a very small lightweight bed chair that doesn't hinder him when he's trying to go on his little fishing missions. So that's the compact bed. The next one we're gonna look at is the SS3 Wide Boy Indulgence, and that is a five season. So it's got a five season bag and it's quite a big, bigger than this one. So we'll look at that one now, but that's the compact. And if, like I said a minute ago, if you are an angler that wants to keep your weight down, you want your bed to be nice and compact, this is the perfect choice. It's the lightest sleep system on the market, so you ain't gonna get much better. Right, let's get the SS3. Okay, this bed here is the SS3 sleep system and it's the wide boy version. The wide boy means it's wider than the other ones. SS3 means three legs, so it's a three leg bed chair and it's the wide boy version of that range. Now, I'll start with the weight and the width because that's how we started the last one, so it makes sense to do it in that order. This bed, as a system, weighs 14.2 kilos. So bed and five season bag, which is a twin layer system, 14.2 kilos. There is also a four season wide and that one weighs 12.8 kilos, so you've got the five season, which is 14.2, or you've got the four season, which is 12.8, and then there is standard width bed chairs as well. So you've got plenty of variation with these. This is called the SS3, and the reason it's called the SS3 is it has three legs. So you've got one at the head end, a single leg. Again, just like the compact, that leg is spring loaded, so it's easy to adjust. You've got the, the leg at the end there, then you've got the two legs in the middle. So that's the SS3, hence the name three. The SS4, that has four legs, one small one at either end and the two in the middle. They've got loads of really interesting features, so I'm gonna run you through them. Bear with me, because there is lots going on here. One thing you'll notice about this bed, if I just pop this on it, little clips at the top here, if I just pop that open, 
there's your bag. They've got lovely, firm, it's not memory foam. Memory foam is quite heavy. This is not memory foam, but it is very, very comfortable. I don't know what kind of foam it is called, um, but not memory foam. However, it feels like it. I would never have known that had they not told me. You press down on it, the beds are nice and firm. There's lumbar support underneath. I'll show you that a little bit later. It's great for your back. Nice firm bed chair, but really, really comfortable. Hence the name Indulgence. That's why they're called Indulgence bed chairs, because they're very comfy, lovely to sleep on, lovely to sit on. I've opened the bag up, as you can see here. Now, that's only showing one layer. This is the five season version. So it's the five season wide boy, which means you have a five season bag. However, it is convertible. So one layer there, that's your four season. The layer I've took off, you zip that on, and you've got five season again. So during the summer, you don't have to worry about changing different sleeping bags all the time and whatnot. Well, getting a new bag, you know, it comes with both varieties. So in the summer, you take the top layer off. In the winter, you put it back on. If you want to keep it on throughout the summer, of course you can. You can sleep between the two layers. It's entirely up to you. But the idea is you've got lots of versatility. And by taking that layer off, you're dropping back on a bit of weight as well. So you sacrifice a little bit of warmth, but you gain a little bit when it comes to saving the weight of the bed chair. So yeah, that's the bag. Smooth on the top. Now, me personally, I like this kind of bag. I like these kind of bags. I like the ones that are smooth. I'm not mad keen on the, the sort of fluffy, and you know, I find they stick to your body a little bit. And that is why they've added this here. Free movement in the bag. For me, really nice feature. It's a little bit cooler as well when you're sleeping on it. That's a personal preference thing. Me personally, like I say, I prefer this kind of sleeping bag. Throw that back over. All the way round, you're gonna see you've got little toggles on the bed, like this. Little toggles there. Now, they're what you can attach the shrouds to, the things I showed earlier on the compact, the camo layer that goes over the top. That's an extra waterproof layer, extra layer of warmth, whatever you wanna treat it as or use it as. They're attached to these toggles and they're fixed all the way around the bed chair. So they're on the mattress as well as being on the bag. Not just the bag, they're like I say, they're on both mattress and bag. Put that back over. Right, I mentioned it's got a few interesting little features and it has things that I've not actually seen on a bed chair before, which is nice. You know, we've all seen the beds now, they've got the spring loaded feet, blah, blah, blah. They're becoming a bit more standard procedure when it comes to bed chairs. But this bed, this is a kind of weird feature as well. Look, you can actually take the whole mattress off and just be left with a... But as I've done that, you'll notice here, pockets, there are pockets. You've got some on both sides. You've got one here, and over the back on this side, you've got another pocket. They're a mesh pocket, so you store your keys in there, you store your phone in there, whatever you like, but they're built into the bed to, to enable you to flap them open and you'll see that they're hanging down in front of the bed chair there. You can keep your valuables in there, your bits and pieces, head torch, keys, phone, you name it. Those little pockets, great little addition. Um, and if you're not a bivy table user, which I think these days a lot of people don't seem to be, they're great to have on your bed. And I've not seen them on another bed chair. Don't quote me on it, they may have them on other beds. I've never seen it before. I'm gonna jump up, I'm gonna spin around to the front of the bed. I'm gonna show you something that is really interesting. It's gonna come around here. We've got a USB port here. Now, to that, you can connect a power pack. And if I lift this up, and you'll see here, there's a cable. You put your power pack inside there, slots in there underneath the bed. You plug this cable into it, and then you plug your iPhone cable into that. And of course, you can plug anything into it. It doesn't just have to be an iPhone. Anything powered by USB, you can of course plug into there, and you've got power straight to your bed. How about that, eh? Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is the lumbar support system. So if I turn this bed up, oh, turn it up this way, it's wide so it's hard to do. Now, you'll see here you've got elastic running through. Traditionally, the elastic was all along the top of the frame, or the sides of the frame, sorry. It now quite often runs through the centre. And the reason for that is to give you rigidity, strength, and comfort all at the same time in the base of the bed chair. Now, if you've got a bad back, it's really important. It's a lifesaver. This made a massive difference for me using bed chairs that have had this in them. And it looks a little bit weird, but it's not. It serves a purpose. 
it really is great. And as I said a second ago, you know, if you've got a bad back, you must have a bed chair that has a lumbar support. You know, it says it in the name, you need to have that if you would like to have a comfortable night on a bed and obviously as time goes on, prolong the lifespan of your spine, which is pretty important. There's clips at the end here. Now, this little clip here, when, when this side of the bag isn't in use, you know, you clip it shut, stops it opening on you while you're sleeping in it. As you switch around, maybe you're sleeping, you wanna get out this side, you open this one up, you do it up on the other side. So yeah, loads of key features, all sorts of different pieces going on, I'm not finished yet. There's more to show you, but we've had a good look at the SS3. So we'll switch this one out now, we'll get the SS4 out, and we can look at the differences between the SS4 and the similarities between all three beds. So we'll switch them around now. Okay, so the first thing, you'll notice my feet are swinging. Now, it's called the SS4 because it's got four legs, but it doesn't end there. The legs are longer, they start longer and they finish longer i.e. they're extendable to a longer length of the other ones. Now, again, it all goes back to the back thing. If you sit on a bed chair and your knees are above your waist, that's not good. You know, you don't want to be crouched too much. So the higher up your bed goes, the better it is for your posture. And this bed gives you the option to have your bed nice and high. If you're a bigger bloke, you know, you don't want to be crouching down really low and sat there crunching the ball. So for the bigger guys or the people again with a bad back, the longer legs, it's ideal. And of course, you can see how long they are. If you wanted to fish out in a flooded puddle or you wanted to fish in the margins, you could easily do this with this bed chair. If you're a murderer, you could store a dead body under there. You could bring your dog, he could sleep under there. You could bring your children, they could probably sleep under there. All your carriers are gonna fit. You name it, you can probably get it underneath this bed once the legs are extended. So have a look at this bed chair. It's the same as the SS3, but the difference is all in the legs really. I think that's about it. There's a bit of extra weight because of those legs, but as you look at this now, it is exactly the same as what I've just showed you before, but the legs, they are the big difference. They're what gives it its name, and they are what separates it from the previous bed we looked at. So if I jump off, So the length of this bed chair is 212 centimetres. It's 98 centimetres wide, so exactly the same as the SS3. However, the height is different. So 38 centimetres tall, and the legs will extend to 51 centimetres. So that's over half a metre from ground level once you've extended the legs all the way up. So that's the difference. As I've already said, it's the only difference. It's a little bit heavier. This one weighs 14.5 kilos in the five season, whereas the three weighs 14.2 kilos, and this weighs 13.1 kilos in the four, and the SS3 weighs 12.8 in the four seasons. So a little bit taller, little bit heavier, but not a lot of difference. So make your decision based on that. I've kept the five season bag on this one, so I haven't removed the top layer. So this bed, as you see it now, it has both layers, top and bottom. And if I reach over, you can really tell the wide, the wide ones because they're hard to get to the other side of them. If I open it up, You've got the same mattress, you've got the lovely padded sort of fleece line, very comfy mattress, and then we've got the bag. This is the difference between the four season and the five season. You've got your two layers. So remove the top layer, which is this part here. You're gonna be left with a four season, add it back in, you've got five. So if we do that, I'm gonna very quickly run these zips round and I'm gonna take off or I'm gonna fold back this top layer. Just get it out of the way a second. There we go. So that is your four. Attach that back on, zip it back over. That's your five. Now, you've got this nice little addition here. It's like a, like a Velcro hood. Don't even know how else to explain it. That Velcro's down. So once you've removed that layer, just do that back up like so. When you put this layer back on, and zip it all the way back up again. Bear with me a second. You'll notice the zips are very smooth, very easy to use. Key feature, no one likes a zip that gets stuck. But you use this piece of Velcro now you know, to fix that top layer back inside. So you haven't got air getting inside, it's not flapping around all over the place. Once you Velcro that back up, the bed chair or the sleeping bag, sorry, on a base layer here 
or the top layer, sorry, becomes one again. So there we have it. It's a really warm bag. And if you look here, they've got these little like wind baffles on them. And I'm going to spin around. I'm going to come around the other side of the bed chair quickly just to show you how they work. As I come around here now, you've got these wind baffles that stops the draft from getting inside. Obviously, once it's zipped up, this here is protecting the zip, so the zip will close in front of this, and rather than just having a straight open between zip and the inner part of the bag, this piece here is quite a thick, chunky, we're going to call it a wind baffle. I don't know if that's what it's called. That's what I'm naming it. That will sit the other side of that zip. And it means that once it's done up, any cold air, if it should get through, you know, it's got another cover there, but any cold air, should it get through, will hit that baffle rather than going straight into your bag and making you cold. So a great winter bag with the optional extra of switching it round and making it a summer bag by converting it to the four season bag. Quite a lot to get through to be honest. I think I've covered everything from bed chair to bag in all different varieties and options that you've got. There is more in the range, also we couldn't have all the bed chairs here. I think there's like seven or eight in the range in total, but we couldn't get them all here. So I've chosen the ones that I thought you would like to look at most. Now, one really important thing when it comes to any kind of product is price and these are reasonably priced bed chairs and they're actually much cheaper than I thought they would be. I thought they were gonna be big money. The compact is 309, so bed chair and bag, the whole system, 309. The SS3 Wide Boy, that is 425, and that's a five season bag plus the wide bed chair. You can get a smaller size as well, so it'll be slightly cheaper. And then you've got the SS4 Wide, so the four leg bed chair with the five season bag that's 450 so 450 for the big dog 425 for the slightly lighter slightly lower three leg version and then 309 for the super lightweight compact sleep system